Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to solve one more numerical based on BJT. That is, uh, we are going to solve numerical based on BJT voltage divider bias. Okay. So we have to find the value of IC and we have to find the value of VC. So you can find this circuit. And here we, we have to find the value of IC that is current flowing free in this loop and we have to find the value of VCE this is V nothing but VCE right so this is IC so this is our objective here so you can see this VJT is biased on voltage divider biasing okay and here we have used NPN transistor okay this is you can see the symbol here and you can find this is NPN transistor and let me tell you the value of RC which is 1 kilo ohm the value of RE here that is 560 ohm the value of R1 is 10k and the value of lower resistance is 5.5.6k okay and you can see this is biased uh, this is biased as a voltage divider biasing and the supply voltage for this biasing is 10 volt okay so you can see here this is 10 volt and both r1 and this r is tied together to the 10 volt okay now let us find the value of ic and the value of vc okay so this is going to be very interesting topic today and i will explain step by step to find the value of ic and vc right all right okay so before i start the calculation uh, I, i'll tell you the value of this beta dc is 100 okay so you have to always remember okay now let us solve this numerical so you can see this is node here okay this is the node and at some point of time let us say the value of the voltage at this node is given by vb okay so this is the volt this is the voltage at this node vb and let us say there is some voltage drop across this resistance that is re and we can say the voltage across this resistance is re plus minus re and this is also plus minus plus minus vb and you as you already know that the voltage across base to emitter junction is v b e right v v v okay so so let us first in the first step this is the first step you have to find the value of base resistance that is value of input resistance that is r in base okay r in base so you have to find the value of r in base so you know the formula to find the value of r in base that is beta dc beta dc multiply by multiply by re right so you know the value of beta dc that is 100 if you multiply by re re is 560 ohm right 560 ohm so you can easily find the value of r in that is 56k and now you have question here why should i find the value of r in why do we need to find the value of r in so let me tell you the reason why you need to find the value of re why because you have here voltage divider biasing and you want to see the impact of impact of two resistance that is one resistance is r2 and one resistance is one resistance is r in so let me draw here equivalent circuit for you so this is let's say r2 and this is let's say r in okay so this is r in now you know the value of r2 is 5.6 and the value of r in is 56k right 56k so what you can see the r2 and r in are parallel together so for the calculation of voltage divider biasing you can neglect 
the value of r in that is 56 56 kilo ohm why because if if two registers are in parallel okay and uh, the if you want to find the thanvin equivalent resistance so the equivalent resistance of two resistance connected in parallel is the re the value of resistance, lower resistance so you can see here your r2 is 5.6 which which is 10 times less than the value of r in so you can ignore the the value of r in for now for this calculation okay so so hope you understand why i have calculated the value of r in here okay so this is all done now in the second step what you need to find is you have to find the value of the value of vv that means voltage drop across this resistance r2 so how will you find the value of this resistance uh, how will you find the voltage of voltage vv that is voltage drop across this resistance r2 right so let me write the formula so it is equals to vcc into the lower resistance r2 divided by r1 plus r2 right right all right so let me put the value the voltage vc is 10 volt into the value of r6 is 5.6 k divided by 10 k plus 5.6 k and if you solve this you can find the value of vv is 3.59 volt okay so this is your second step okay now now as you know you have to find the value of ic and vc in order to find the value of ic and vc now in the in the third step what you need to find is you need to find the value of v that means voltage across this this emitter resistance re so i have already explained uh, this is v e okay so let me find you v v equals to v equals to you have to apply here kvl now this loop v equals to vb voltage drop across r2 resistance minus the voltage across base nmeter okay so since you know that vb equals to 3.59 right and vb equals to 0 0.7 volt and if you solve this you will find the v equals to 2.89 right 2.89 so let me erase all the things and let me keep the value what is required here for now so this is also not required just i explained you for the calculation how will you find the value for v. okay now you have your two value let me highlight it right all right so you have one is this is your v b right and this is your v b e all right now let us find the value of let us find the value of right what the value of i e so how will you find the value of i e you have to write the formula i e equals to i equals to v b e voltage drop across emitter divide by r e right all right so you know the value of v b e which is 2.89 right 2.89 volt divide by you know the value of r e which is 560 ohm okay if you solve this you can find the value of i is 5.16 milli ampere so this is your another equation this is the value of i e i e equals to this so let me highlight it so this is your value of i e right so as you already know that what you know you know that the value of i equals to the value of ic equals to i right 
so in such case it is 5.16 milli ampere now you have the value of ie as well all right so so now you have to find you 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 have your value of ic which is given by 5.6 milli ampere all right now you have to find the value of vce so let me find the value of vce so in order to find the value of vce you have to apply kvl in this loop right in this loop you have to apply kvl in this loop right so let me write you equation the value of vc equals to equals to the value of vc equals to vcc right here you have vcc minus ic into ic into what is the resistance value here rc plus rc plus re okay so if you solve this your vcc is 10 volt right minus ic equals to what is your ic 5.16 milliampere and rc equals to 1k plus 0.56k okay if you further solve this you can find the value of you can find the value of vce equals to 1.95 volt okay so this is your another equation right this is your another so let me highlight it okay so now now you have your value of vbe which is given by 3.59 volt the value of ve that is 2.89 volt and the value of i equals to ic equals to 5.16 milliampere right and the value of vce equals to this is nothing but the value of vc vc equals to 1.95 volt since you now there is a question if you this if this circuit is working in the saturation region so as you know that your vce set is greater than 0 volt which is approximately in the practical case would be 0 0.2 volt but here you can see your vcc is greater than 0 0.2 volt let's say that is 1.95 volt so your transistor is not saturated and it's not working in the saturation region so hope you hope you are now able to solve such type of problem okay if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video